Learn how to create compelling worlds by harnessing the power of 3D motion graphics. As you may know, After Effects is not a true 3D software like Cinema 4D or Blender. However, with the cinematic techniques shown in this video, we're going to be able to create cinematic worlds in no time. Let's jump in. All right, we're fired up and we're going to break down these two scenes. We have a 3D scene where the camera is spinning around the center point of the room and another scene in which we have a hallway. Let's create this hallway scene first. So if we want 3D, we must create a 3D object. We can create our 3D object by using the rectangle tool to create, well, a rectangle and make it a 3D layer. Now you're like, Josh, this is just a 2D shape. And you're right, it is. So we can grab the pan behind tool and move the anchor point of the shape over to the right while holding control on your keyboard. Then we can duplicate the shape and rotate it by 90 degrees. We can then duplicate the front side again and move its anchor point over to the left and then rotate it by a negative 90 degrees. Finally, duplicate the front again and move it back in Z space to connect the shape. You can set the view to top to make sure everything is connecting perfectly. But now we have a 3D shape and we can finally build out that 3D scene. So let's pre-compose our 3D shape and call it whatever you want. And then for the most important task, click on continuously rasterize and make it a 3D layer. Now we can position this over to one side of our composition. We can now duplicate this layer and then move it over to the other side of the composition. And while we're here, you should also change the color of the label as well. But okay, so now we can duplicate the rectangles together and push them back in Z space by 700 points. Looking good. So we'll repeat this process of duplicating everything and pushing it back in Z space by 700 points. The more you duplicate, the faster it'll be to build out your repeated hallway. But that's good enough. Now we need to create a floor and a roof. So we can create a dark solid layer and make it a 3D layer, of course, and then rotate it by 90 degrees. Then position it down in Y space, and now we'll just adjust the scale to stretch it out across the scene. Then adjust the Y position and push it back in uh, Z position until it reaches the end of your hallway. Then we can duplicate this floor layer and then adjust the Y position to create a roof. And feel free to change the color as well. Now if your scene's meshing together like this, what you may want to do is select all your objects, go to scale by hitting S on your keyboard, uh, break that chain and then adjust the scale Y value to adjust the height of the columns. And then you can reposition your roof and floor. So this is all coming together, but let's test the true 3D-ness of this scene and test other made up words. <laughs> so let's go ahead and create a camera. And I guess I'm just using the 35 millimeter preset these days, but we can animate the position of the camera to dolly down towards the end of the hallway. Okay, so clearly we have the principles set up now, but what's really going to take the scene to the next level is lighting and a few effects. But before we move forward, if you want to speed up your workflow, be sure to get our 100 free template pack along with our free animation presets for After Effects link below. With our Motion Duck extension, you can animate entire scenes within a matter of a few clicks. We also have over 25,000 plus templates available for AE and Premiere Pro. So if you do pick up anything, you'll be supporting our channel, so thank you very much. Okay, back in it and let's get the lighting set. So instead of using lights, let's go back into the shape composition and set the shape to a linear gradient. Then go into the shape layer and edit the start and end points to expand the range of the gradient like so. And you can click edit gradient to change the colors. I'll make the first gradient stop a dark gray. And now you can copy and paste this to the other shape layers and change the shading of each layer to help variate the shading. And when you go back into your main scene, everything should update. And one thing you have to make sure of is that your 3D space is set to classic 3D. However, it may take a bit of trial and error to dial in the exact look that you want. But moving forward, let's expand on the look by creating an adjustment layer and adding the noise effect. I like to set this effect to around 12% and to follow up, we can also add the posterize effect and slightly adjust it. And you can also add the posterize time effect from time. Set this number to half of the frame rate of your composition to give your scene a stop motion effect. And now for the important effect, add glow from stylize. Set the glow irradiance to around 50 and then duplicate the effect. Set the glow irradiance to 1000 on that duplicate layer and now your scene is really coming together. And another thing to look at is the background. You can go ahead and create a soul layer and add the gradient and ramp effect to it. Uh, just move the points around and place the white point 
in the area where you want the light to be coming from. The glow effect is going to give the white areas of your scene a hazy effect. And overall, these are my steps for creating a cool 3D scene. I've also added optional shadows to the roof. Uh, and if you want to learn these, you can download the project file to break this down on your own if you like. However, for now, I want to move on to this other scene uh, as there's other concepts you need to know to expand on the topic of creating 3D worlds. This scene goes into advanced camera movement and how to build a scene in a 360 view. So starting this off, I have a background, a solid floor layer with the radio waves effect, and a bouncing 2D circle. And as stated, you can get the project file for free if you like, but we'll go ahead and create our camera and we'll want to animate this along a singular point in the middle of the composition. So in addition, go ahead and create a null object and parent the camera to the null. And of course, make that null object a 3D layer, and then you can animate the Y rotation. Then the camera will rotate around the scene. If you want to have your object facing the camera the entire time, go to Layer, Transform, and click Auto Orient. Then select Orient Towards Camera and click OK. Now, the camera will rotate around the scene and you can view the motion path with the top view. So now we can place objects in 3D space. Uh, so we can use, say, the rectangle that we created, again, the 3D rectangle, and be sure to make it 3D in your composition and continuously rasterize it. Th then by using the top view, we can push this forward or back in Z space, uh, just behind the camera. Then we can create duplicates and move them around the scene as we see fit. This technique also works great for 2D objects. So for example, you can place in other graphics or even build a city if you have those vector objects. But nonetheless, with all these techniques shown in this tutorial, you can create a cinematic 3D scene here in After Effects.